everyone, and welcome to Mind Z. It's, um, I was planning to play Daisy for this Monday's video, but since Daisy doesn't appear to be working, well, it works, but it's like none of the controls work, and I just end up dying and getting killed and slaughtered, and nothing makes sense, and then it takes 20 minutes to load, and I'm like, I don't have time for that. In the spirit of that, we are playing Mind Z, which is a Minecraft port of Daisy. Uh, it is on a server, it is a multiplayer thing, and, uh, <clears throat> I'm just gonna run through real quick, um, kind of what it is. It's a highly modified version of Minecraft. It has tons of um, changes and so uh, I'm just going to go through this real quick. Food is very important as each piece of food restores one half a heart and regen from uh, full hunger bar is disabled. It is hard to find so food should be your number one priority, which it is. Uh, zombies and players make this world very dangerous. You're going, uh, there is PvP enabled. You're going to need to find gear so you can face the threats around you and have any chance of survival. Correct. Uh, snowballs will save your life. Use them to distract zombies so you can make your escape or to lure a horde towards your worst enemy. Yay. Headshots do more damage to a zombie, however, arrows can be hard to come by, so make sure to aim true. Arrows are limited to 15 stack. Not really a problem. Uh, health potions are the most effective way to get health. They are only found in a few places near the coast. Stock up before you head into the dangerous north. Uh, diamonds got your attention. Inventory management is vital. You won't be finding any of these beauties out there. No diamonds, I guess. Uh, rumors of a disease that is contracted by zombie bite have spread, though no one can confirm it if the rumor is to believe milk is the only cure, so it's good to have a bucket of milk. Ender pearls uh, basically are grenades, uh, and then uh, healing ointment is this red stuff, and green stuff is antibiotic ointment, and use shears with a bandage to heal others. I've never tried to do that. Uh, the sword will probably save your life many times, always handle it with the utmost respect. Now, I, I've played this game a tiny bit, but I'm still very confused as to what's going on, so you're going to see me screw up. Probably. Server list at Mind Z, blah 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 blah, no one cares. Uh, the axe has large swing and can hit groups of zombies. Crouch uh, to swing hard enough to hit multiple zombies. So if you go crouch and then you swing, I guess you can hit multiple zombies. I've never had an axe in this game, I don't think. And this Mind Z. If you can't spawn back up and try again, uh, consuming sugar will give you a temporary speed boost. Use it wisely because after it wears off, you'll become inflicted with fatigue for a few seconds. Uh, when you take damage, you might start bleeding. Uh, these are bandages, paper is a band aid. If you are more than 250 meters from a player, you you can't hear them and they can't hear you. If you hold an ender eye, you can talk with anyone who's holding an ender eye. Cool. Zombies run faster, think smarter, hoard bigger, smell uglier, hit blah, 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 blah. They will kill you. Many items have to be crafted. This includes the best types of food. However, crafting tables are not found everywhere. Make careful decisions on what you carry. Um, so, you know, pick up wheat, things like that. Your experience level is your current thirst level. Uh, carry lots of water, you can die from dehydration. Empty water bottles can be refilled from a water source. Your experience bar is your vitality to zombies, depending on how you move, you are more visible. So, um, if I move over here, I'm more visible to zombies, whatever, if I crouch, I'm less visible. Loot chests are the source of, uh, loot chests are the source of everything, I thought that was going to be a verb, are the source of everything you will need for survival that can be found in towns, blah blah blah. Weapons are found around the world, alright, and um, a hoe allows harvesting wheat, melon, and mushrooms that you find, and um, you use shovels to break cobwebs, cacti, and to dig up graves. So, everything sounds good, and I'm just going to uh, do, let me find the command again for going to spawn. By the way, when you're running, you're extremely vulnerable. Um, mine is spawn. Mine is spawn. Alright, and here we are. And we are on the coast, a nice coastal region here. And um, I'm just going to put on this so we always know where we are. Our X is pretty far out, but as you can see, our Z is like only 300 and something. And we're going to be walking in this direction, and uh, that direction gets us further north. So the further you go north, uh, the more likely you are to uh, get into this kind of nice snowy region where things get deadly. And uh, health potions are only found near the coast, like they said earlier, so we're going to try to do some coast exploring uh, before we hurry off to do other stuff. We're going to kind of stay a bit near the coast, that way, um, when we get thirsty, uh, you are able to drink ocean water, so let's just fill up right now. Drink and refill. And uh, the sun setting, which is just fantabulous. Very nice. But yeah, this is a pretty realistic game to the point of, you know, um, a lot of crap can happen, and it's, uh, it's... It's a lot harder than regular Minecraft, I'll put it that way. You, you can't, like, break sand and take sand blocks with you. It's not normal Minecraft, uh, so. There's a little, uh, bridge over there, it looks like, so I'm gonna go over that bridge and see what's, see what's happening. So. Actually, I'll just cut across here. Bridges aren't worth the hassle. Uh, you can follow roads to try to get to civilization. 
and roads will usually lead you to lead you to abandoned villages that have been destroyed and pillaged and plundered, and uh, they usually have zombies surrounding them. And oh look, looks like something spawning over there. So this will be fun to explore. Let's go get it. As you can see, you can't break really break stuff like that. This looks exciting. This looks really exciting. It's like a giant castle thing, which is nice. Now I gotta find an entrance to it, which might be harder than it looks. Sword drawn, on guard, <laughs> on guard. There's a zombie. Multiple zombies. Let's try a different route in. I don't think the back would be very yielding anyhow. Go into the front. No, I'm not going to sing. That is my goal. I'm not singing. But there's a lot of loot chests in there. Oh, I can see one just from here. Alright, awesome. We're on the track, on, on the trail, whatever you want to call it. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> oh, this is how we get in. Okay. As you can see, there's another player over there. Um, I'm not going to go try to kill him, because that would probably be stupid and end up getting me killed. Because I just have a habit to get killed when doing stuff. I'm going to go up here. Looking for a chest. This place is pretty expansive. Don't see any chests. What if these rooms have nope. Let's see if any of the rooms have oh, I see a chest over there. I doubt the rooms specifically have chests, or maybe like one or two, maybe, but kinda doubt it. Apple and cocoa beans. Oh great chest, great chest. That is amazing. Because with that we can not starve, and if we find wheat, we can also not starve. So pretty useful. This wasn't uh, chests disappear once you get everything out of them. And we also have a bandage now. We have two bandages. I'm just gonna check every room real quick, make sure there's no cool things in here. Uh, da -da -da. Nope. Nope. Alright, I'm just gonna assume there's nothing in any of these rooms. Go up a level. Luxury suite. This has to have something nice in it, right? Right? Maybe? Oh god, I'm gonna get lost in here. Hey, look at chest. Ah, yes, armor to adorn our current armor. <laughs> I would have earned the loot achievement, but I'm not premium. I really don't care. Uh, I might get premium at some point if I really enjoy this game, but right now I'm just kind of testing it out. It's a cool game. So far I have loved it. I'll admit it, but I'm um, going to see how good the replay value is before I actually get it, per se, get a premium subscription. Zombie flesh is kind of a last resort for food. you got to be hungry. I don't see any chests on this level. I don't think there are any. Maybe out on the balcony? Nope. Good to know. Little trees growing. It's like, tree, you're drunk, go home. You're not gonna grow there. <laughs> and one final chest at the top layer with wheat and five arrows. Yes. We need one more wheat and we can make cookies. And these stack. Oh, scheduled server reboot. Dang it. <laughs> Let's stand idly by and wait for something to happen. <laughs> oh, success. Damn it. This is that ultra exciting period of waiting. Um, I'm going to add a server. us3public.mindz.net That's the server I was on, and I'm just going to keep refreshing and watching it. Oh, looks like it's back up. Damn it. Ah. Uh, let me in. No, screw you. Fine, we'll go to this one. Anyway, all the servers have the same stuff. It syncs between the servers, by the way. In case you're curious. Uh, so anyway. Really? Are you, f are you kidding me? No, did it... <laughs> Stop doing that, server! Stop doing that! Ah, uh, No... <laughs> this is not going as planned. Alright. Back to what I was doing. Anyway, gotta be careful going downstairs, because you don't want to take damage. Hey Dan, how's it going? Yep, that's right, you're gonna die. It's all because of me. 
And he's turned into a zombie. And we get all his loot. I murdered him. Murdered, murdered, murdered. Murdered, murdered, murdered. murdered, murdered, murdered. Good for him. Uh, I'm gonna craft together some of this stuff, save some inventory space, and get better stuff. We go, sword and sword. What I like about that is I had he had way better loot than I did, and I owned him. <laughs> Killer money, two hundred something or another. Da da da. Um, how about no? <laughs> I have a feeling he's just waiting there to try to kill me. Uh, which would really suck. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> Next time I need to get try try to get further from society before I start looting and pillaging. But anyway, thank you for joining me, and we will see you next time in Mindsy. Unless I can get Daisy working.